Hello? Are you applying for an income-driven repayment plan? We are here to help you identify which income documents you need to submit to complete your application. This video is intended for married borrowers. Let's get started. If you are separated from your spouse or not reasonably able to access your spouse's income information, you will be treated as a single borrower in the processing of your application. This means you are only responsible for providing your income information. If you and or your spouse have income, you must submit income documentation in order for your application to be processed. You may have noticed a question on the application asking, has your income significantly decreased since you filed your last federal income tax return? It is up to you to determine what significant means. For example, you've lost a job or you're experiencing a significant drop in income. If the answer is no, your income hasn't significantly decreased, submit your recent federal joint tax return. Please make sure your tax documents contain the following information so we can process your application name or social security number, adjusted gross income, tax year, and filing status. Just a note, if you are completing the application electronically on studentaid.gov, you will be given the option to document your income electronically, using a data retrieval tool that has been established with the IRS. If you answer yes, and you and or your spouse's income has significantly decreased or if you haven't filed a tax return in the last two years, you'll need to submit a different type of income documentation. For most, this means a pay stub, if you receive pay stubs, send one of those. If you receive another type of income send documentation of this as well. This would include, a W-2 or 1099 tax documents, a self-certifying statement of income, a self-employed letter, a letter from employer, alimony spousal support, an annuity or trust fund, dividend interest income, life insurance payments, private disability, social security benefits, a stipend, or unemployment. For income documentation, such as your pay stub or unemployment benefits, Ensure the following is included on the documents, name or social security number. Include, typed pay frequency, if not typed handwritten is acceptable. Dated within 90 days, except a W-2. Clearly state gross income. If you are married and file your taxes separately, you'll need to submit non-joint federal tax returns, or your pay stubs or other forms of income documentation. Don't forget. You and your spouse must sign the application. The spouse signature is required to certify their income. In no way is this signature indicating a responsibility for the student loans. You can upload your income documentation on MyGreatLakes.org. After you log in, click the search icon. You'll see a list of options, click Upload Documents. You'll see the Submit Forms screen, click the arrow to reveal a drop-down menu. Select Repayment Plans. There is a section asking what type of documentation you are submitting, be sure to select Income Driven Repayment Plan Request. Click Choose Files and select your files. When you are finished, click Submit. Ensure that your documents are in a PDF format. If you need to mail your documents, you can send them to Great Lakes Borrower Services, P.O. Box 7860 Madison, Wisconsin, 53707. If you prefer you can fax your documents to 800-375-5288. Hopefully you have a better understanding of which income documents you should submit with your income driven repayment plan application. If you need assistance, please don't hesitate to call us at 800-236-4300 from 7am to 9pm. We'd love to hear from you.